our own association now, and it's called SCOBA. Stoke City Old Boys Association, that's hard to work out, isn't it? <laughs> so um, we, we go about our business and um, we raise money throughout the year. And what we, what we do is we actually put our money that we earn um, back into our local community. We looked at it and thought, what should we do? And we thought about the football, we thought about the mini league, and we thought, well, everybody needs to play football, they need to have balls, and you need to have bibs, and you need to have stuff that helps you do the game. So what we decided to do this year was to actually get together and use some of the money that we've raised through the things that we've done throughout the year and um, donate balls to the league. How important is it for you guys to get involved with the community stuff? Um, it's very important. Um, not so much for us because we're old and we're ex-players, but we've all played for this football club and this football club historically has been very, very, very supportive of the community. And it's important that the players understand the community that they're playing for and they, and they actually mix with that community. And all we're doing is just following in that tradition. How much of a privilege is it for you to meet um, the young kids that could be the Stoke players of the future? Oh, I think that's, it's fantastic. I mean, they are they are the future of the football club. And bear in mind, we were all at that age, and to come to the football club and the training ground, and it's just fantastic. And to see the faces, and they're, they're so happy to to be getting something that's little but a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, what do you think of um, Stoke's performance? What's the purpose of you being here? Today? It's um, for the Stoke City Old Boys. They've um, kindly donated all the balls and kits to um, to local young teams around the city. How important as a, a Stoke lad yourself is it to come to events like this and be part of this? Yeah, it's it, it's amazing to to be to have the opportunity to be able to do this. And uh, there's young lads here from teams like Stone Dominoes that I used to play for when I was a, a young lad, so it's nice. Um, you're obviously a product of Stoke's youth squad. Um, how do you think the future looks for the, the club and the, the players they produce here? Oh yeah, well, the club's come so far, It's um, it's been an amazing journey and we just want to go on to that next level and hopefully we can with the help of the, the old boys, their donations and the coach and the community lads do for the club, they can uh, bring in local talent and push them on. How important is for you to come down to events like this today? Well, it's extremely important to be seen to be part of the community. Where there's no point in having an old boys association if we aren't going to put something back into the com local community and to put it into youngsters playing football, keeping them fit, enjoying themselves, I think nothing could be better. And how much of a privilege is it for you to see these young kids who could potentially be one day uh, future Stoke players? Well, they could, and hopefully if they are good enough, they will come to Stoke. I was a local lad and came up and played in the first team. Hopefully the, these lads would want to do the same. But all I want them to do at the moment is go out and enjoy playing football. They shouldn't be thinking about can I be a professional or what, anything. What they should be thinking about, am I enjoying it? And that's what the game's all about. And how much do you enjoy being um, a Stoke goal boy? Oh, it's, uh, it, it's something that you know, we're proud to be on. You know, to, to meet up with the old players is useful uh, and to be able to help charities where we can around the, you know, with our charity around the town. And it's important that we continue to do that. 